Hi, welcome to the videos of the assembly instructions. Arrayed in front of you right now are the tools I hope you recognize from the highnibble.com recommended tools. Uh, most of them are here, and these are things that I acquired specially to build my MSA 8080 kit. Uh, this is sort of mostly my standard uh, soldering sort of setup. One thing I really want to emphasize is how important it is to keep the um, tip on the soldering iron really clean. It'll always um, sort of have a tarnished appearance after it's just been sitting still for a while, um, while it's switched on and hot. So from time to time you need a wet sponge uh, just to bring back that sheen of um, that silvery appearance. If there's any solvent or any other materials that have built up on the tip, that's why you want one of these uh, sort of springy stainless sponges uh, that'll drag any excess solder off the tip. If the tip of your soldering iron is really in poor state, shape, that's why I uh, recommend one of these tip refreshers. The only trouble with them is how difficult it is to get them open, but uh, that one I had open previously to make it easy. And these are largely full of flux with a very small amount of solder suspended in it, and it will really bring up the condition of the tip of your soldering iron. You'll see a nice shiny finish. It's picked up a little bit of solder, so wipe down the wet sponge again, or even uh, dragging off any excess solder that's built up there is a recommended thing. Even with a fairly simple hobby soldering iron like this, which cost me less than $20 at a local electronics store, um, we're gonna be successfully able to solder up this kit, including the two surface mount components. So we won't muck around for very long before we get onto talking about and uh, and soldering up those surface mount components because they come up very early in the process. So I'll move most of these things out of the way. Uh, you'll see me go off camera to the side here to regularly clean the tip of the soldering iron. As I've mentioned in the notes for the tools, I don't use a lot of isopropyl alcohol or my conductive brush. Solder, we're gonna get through a lot of that. Uh, the tip refresher, my soldering iron seems to be in good condition, so I don't use that so often. You definitely want solder wick uh, for the surface mount components, if nothing else. It's almost impossible to get them uh, soldered perfectly the first time, and there's always a bit of excess solder to be removed, so the solder wick is vital. Uh, same goes for the flux, and I find these flux pens are pretty easy because uh, you get just a you know, good amount of flux out of them when you need it and they also, uh, the flux dries up and doesn't leave much of a residue, unlike the flux gels that come in a little pot. So the flux pen is gonna be close to hand. Um, similarly, a few Q-tips to clean up any excess flux. And for those surface mount components, well, at least the PS RAM, um, a pair of tweezers, I like to use the self-closing tweezers. And of course, trusty side cutters used for just about every component. 